today's dish we have a recipe for an amazing rainbow trout fish fillet so stay tuned if you're interested in this dish and don't forget guys enjoy so this is two pieces of rainbow trout fillets and this is what the back looks like beautiful fish so I've already gone and washed my fillets and now we're going to go ahead and season these so the first thing I'm going to do is I have a little bit of lemon and depending on how much lemon you like, I personally like a very little bit, I'm just going to squeeze a little lime juice, just a little lemon juice onto these. And I'm going to do the same thing for the back. After I've added my lemon juice, I'm just going to go ahead and cut my fish in half. So I'm going to season this with a bit of salt and you just want to lightly season this with a bit of salt. You don't want to add too much at the same time you don't want to add too little. So I'm going to do this both back and front. So I'm adding a little bit of white pepper but you can use black pepper as well but not everyone in my family that agrees with so we're using white pepper. So I'm just going to sprinkle a little bit of Italian seasoning onto this. Keep in mind that you can season your fish however way you like. It's really about personal preference. And then I'm going to add just a touch of oregano. And then you want to get this on both sides. So you just want to gently rub these together. And our last thing is, I'm just going to slightly add a little bit of Mamma Mia seasoning. You can get these from your local supermarket. And you just want to lightly dust these in there. In my baking pan now, I'm just going to add each of my fillets. You just want to space them out, give them enough space of their own. Alright, next I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of extra virgin olive oil onto my fillets. But you can use any oil you have at hand, anything works. And we're just going to bake these. I preheated my oven to 350 degrees. And we're just going to bake these for about 15 minutes. So you, 15 minutes is the most. You don't want to bake these for too long because fillets cook very fast. And then after that, you'll go from there. So I'm just washing a little bit of white rice. And I'm just going to wash this and put this on my stove. So I'm adding a tablespoon of salt and half a tablespoon of butter. I'm just going to mix this thing. So these are some green beans, and what I'm just going to do is cut off the ends on both sides. So once I'm done, I'm just going to cut them up to about three pieces. So I'm just going to cut them up into little shapes like this. Well, you can cut them up however way you want. You can add them to your rice whole long after you cut off the ends, or you can cut them up like I did. And then you want to wash these and add these into your pot of rice. So once I've added my green beans, I'm just going to mix this into my rice to make sure I incorporate everything. That looks good. And then I'm going to cover this and once it boils for about 5 minutes, I'm going to turn my stove down on low and let my rice simmer. So we're checking on our filet now and with the spatula, see that's our timer so it's all done. So our filet is looking good, you see it's nice and pink and it's still pretty moist. Because you don't want to leave it in here too long and dry out all the juices. Alright, so if you want to kick your dish up a notch, just get a little bit of butter. This is about a tablespoon of butter. And then here I have some freshly cut parsley and I'm going to add this to my melted butter. And you want to put this butter in your microwave for about two minutes. So after this is finished out of your microwave, you want to just glaze your fillets with this and then you're ready to go. So once your butter sauce is done in the microwave, this is what it should look like, almost like oil. And then you can go ahead and add these to your filet. Alright friends, so that is the end of the finished dish. Don't be afraid to try out this dish guys, it is very easy to make. The fish was very moist when I was finished and very well seasoned. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching. See you for the next one. Bye!